Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Chrissy. I'm so pleased to meet you. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Today I'm going to be playing with a new palette from Revolution Pro. It's the 24K Gold Palette. If you'd like to see how I got the look, please continue to watch. Guys, I'm going to use this new Revolution Pro 24K Gold Palette. Um, it's been out a while, but I didn't think I was going to get it, but it was just one of those, I thought, shall I, shan't I? And then in the end, I caved in. This is what the palette looks like. It is another one of those, like the, um, what are they, the new neutrals palettes. So it's very nice. You've got um, some mattes, shimmers maybe even some satins but you've got some glitters whether i use glitters or not today i don't know but i'm going to use for a change i'm going to use the darker browns today and then um I might, I might actually use the gold so we've got the dark brown and gold just to have something totally different it looks a really pretty palette i will swatch it for you before i start i have um, done my eyebrows and put some um eye base on already just to get started so let's jump forward and I'll do the swatches for you these are the colors there's a, as you can see there's a couple of glitter is, glitters in there they are really pretty really nice formulation again so I think I'm gonna use some browns uh, they have got this one here you probably can't see it that is oh my lights are driving me nuts if i turn them down too much they start flickering this one here is a cream like in the huda beauty new nudes palette they always seem to put like a cream base in i don't know whether anybody uses it but i don't because I don't know whether it'll turn into a powder or not. So um, I think I am going to use this dark brown. I hope everybody is okay. Thank you for all of the love you sent me on the weekend. It was really appreciated. Thank you so, so much. I'm going to use the, the white gold just to set this um, this base because it is still quite sticky. Using So I'm just going to use a fluffy brush just to set this base because it's very very creasy at the moment because it's still wet so have you all entered my thousand subscriber giveaway i hope you have i have now put a video up i was intending to do one last week but given the current circumstances i just didn't get round to it all the things took precedence. I've actually finished my declutter, guys. At long last. I didn't do any of really of my blushes, apart from my Primark ones that can be counted as Primark. But blushes or highlighters, I've done very, very few. Especially the Revolution ones. Revolution have got a bang on wear it highlighters and concerned so I'm just going to carry on as like I'm doing a wing I wasn't as I said before I wasn't going to get this I've got no intention of buying it at all. Those aren't really straight, but they're straight enough. That'll be okay. And I'm just going to bring it over. just going to make the line I want, it, I want it right over where my natural crease comes I 
think I've gone a little higher on that side. I can, I can alter anyway at this stage. I'm sure I've got two different shaped eyes. I swear this all the time. I'm just looking forward just so I can get this shape roughly around the same. I'm just going to pat it on and just fill in. It's going to be a dark look guys. I just fancy a dark look today. Mm. Just start filling this in now and just dragging it along and softening it up as well at the same time. So we're doing all three things at the same time. done more of a pinky look but I think you me and everybody else is a bit fed up with pink looks at the moment right I'm gonna start just softening that up at the edges now okay I'm gonna have to use this white gold again it's the only colour light colour that I can use to blend out all the rest are shimmers unfortunately. What I'll do is I'll blend and blend and then I'll just deepen the uh, the edges up again. So I'm just going out with this really, really lightly with a light, the lightest touch. And I'm just softening it all up and then I'll put some more brown on. You can see how soft it's going now. And I'll just deepen the uh, the original colour up in a second or two. I will maybe put the other darker shade on too. I'll try and use as many shades as I possibly can to show you. Have a little bit of that darker colour and it's called mine which is this colour here right let's get a little bit more of a clean up doing and then I'm going to try one of the shimmers and then I'm going to put some glitter on because I think I need a bit of sparkle today. Um, I'm going to go for this one here. This one is called Medal. I'm just going to add a little bit on there just to brighten it up and there. it's almost just like a base for the the glitter. I don't want to put it straight onto nothing. Yeah, that's uh, that's not my sort of colour. It's too light. This 
this is almost like um, a satin formulation. It's like a full on shimmer. So I've got a NYX one, but I've also got a Revolution. This one's only a few pound and it is, it's quite good. I've never had no complaints with this. Just gonna tap this glitter glue on exactly where I want the glitter to be. So it's literally gonna go all over where I put that satin color. You don't have to be a really thick amount, just a nice light coating. But if you do miss any areas, you are going to see because the glitter is not going to adhere to your eyelid. I'm going to use this one, not Halcyon, it's Gold Leaf. I'm going to use that one instead. So I am literally just pat, pat, pat on where I've got the glitter glue. I will have to use a little brush as well because my fingers are not going to get into my inner corners because I've got these nails on. But just gently paths over where you put the glitter glue. Oh, Chris is happy. Let's put, pop a little bit more dark on and then we'll just play. Grab a brown eyeliner. I don't want anything too harsh today, I don't think. Um, yeah, I'll do brown eyeliner. I've got this chocolate dipped. Uh, mascara from High Art Revolution. So it is in deepest black or something like that. Let me have a look. It's, oh, it's just, it's called Dark Chocolate. And you've got, oh, you've got one of those nice, oh, superb. This is going to replace my Bad Girl Bang mascara. So I don't have to use the, the dear stuff. It's got the same sort of brush. Very nice, it's very uh, soft. I went to smell it. Yes, it does smell like chocolate, but no, that's better. How about that, smells of chocolate? That's a, f I have never smelled a mascara. I've never had a mascara that actually smells like anything apart from mascara. Right guys, give me two seconds and I'll be back. I'm going to have a cup of tea, put my base on and come back and we'll finish the look off. But this is looking rather pretty. So, give us two seconds and I'll be back with you. 
guys I've done my base and I'm going to go back to the palette and let's have a little play under the eyes with these so um, I think shall I introduce a different colour or what I'm a bit apprehensive about putting shimmers under my eyes because I've got so much glitter on the top I think I'm just going to keep it safe safe and boring <laughs> no change there and i think i'm just going to put this mine color this was the darker oh well i took it off now the darker shade I've just took a little bit of Retriever, which is out of the palette. Totally the different, two different colours, which I didn't want, but... That's not the brush I wanted. This is the brush I wanted. I don't tend to put a lot of highlighter anyway when I've got glitter on my eyes because the main focus is going to be right there on the glitter so it's really wasted if you work for it anywhere else so let's just make sure that glitter is in place and just pat it on just to make sure it's going nowhere A beautiful shade this is right so palette finished base finished let's have a look at a bit of a lip color i think i'm gonna get a nude as well right i'm gonna use this conceal and define infinite 16 hour wear fixing spray That smells beautiful it's just got that slight fresh smell to it very nice I've been waiting to get that for ages I think I'll go with the ultimate nude from revolution and it is their chauffeur this is their lip pencil well it's a full I'm going to take probably this one here just to give me a bit of a, a gold. Yes, just a little bit of a gold tinge. This is the Auric that in the palette that's got it guys that's the end of my video today i really hope you've enjoyed watching if you have don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and if you haven't already and you do like my channel please consider subscribing that would make my day i will see you guys really soon um i'm not sure where i am at at the moment but it'll either be a makeup look a swatches video or my last day clutter so i'll see you really soon guys please take care of yourselves and be safe bye